Hi folks, my name is Paul Marshall. This is my assistant Timmy. We're here to do a demonstration to show exactly how quick and easy it is to set up Marshall profiles. And you'll see then how much more efficient and precise it is to build the wall using this system. Now each corner folks take no more than five minutes to set up. Watch this. In this instance, we're gonna use our clamping rods to fix our three brackets. So we'll fix the profile external bracket here first. The short bracket goes on, that's the 250 mil bracket. This is the 440 mil bracket, which is obviously your full block. And we just tighten them in, like so. Tighten them up. It really is this simple, folks. Okay, the good one, then riding the bike. That's good and tight, but it's fine. Okay, so we tighten him up as well, and that is going nowhere, folk, I can assure you. Right, so that's our bracket set up for the profile. We now just have the two brackets to set up for. The stay bars and they just clamp on with one bracket with one clamp rod each, which goes in here. We've our um, hole knocked out and we just tighten them up, and you get a nice flush fitting fixing here with the bracket onto the uh, block. And our stay bar now in a sec will come on here once we have the second uh, stay bar bracket clamped on. So, just set them into the slot, put them on, tighten up our nut. We'll get our profile now, Demi, and we'll set this whole, whole thing up. As I say, folks, if it's taken any more than five minutes to set these up, with absolute precision, it's taking too long. Now, I suppose the one thing to know with the profiles, this is how you keep your profile assembled between jobs. Everything's attached, you lose nothing. You have your stay bars obviously attached to the 1.8 meter profile in this instance. Here's your profile slider, it's up and down. We even have profile levels now that slot onto the profiles as well. That will check our level on both vertical planes. All we need to do is set on our profile, set it for height, pull out our stay bars to stabilize it and get it vertically aligned. So in order to set this for height, we'll bring our slider down to the appropriate height notch, which is probably that one. So we'll set that on. I'll use what we call the height gauge now to help me here. Bring this to millimeter precision. It's this guy here, which is one millimeter increments throughout it. So as you can see, that's right on the, the slider is aligned to the notch. But the profile needs to come up to here, and I'll use this fella and slot him in on the other end as far as he can go. And the profile now sets on that when I lock this in. So if you lock that in there for me, Demi, please. I can slot them them uh, bolts both sides. Good man. Before you tighten them up now fully, Jimmy, I'll just take the spanner off here. I'll just make sure that that's absolutely perfect. i actually need to come up one more millimeter, which I can easily do here now. I'm just slotting in that one more. There we go. As we say, folks, millimeter precision. You can lock that up now, Jimmy. Okay. Timmy's doing that, I loosen my nuts here. And I need to put them there. We'll get out of the bars. Okay. Like so. I'm locking them from the gimme up, come on. Everything fits like the glove, folks. Oh. So we'll get that one tight and we'll do our leveling now up the top end so he doesn't need to concern about anything there. Just lock that in and we'll do the same with this and we'll get the whole thing leveled up then and so. So if you slip over there then yeah, you can uh, 
You can take the hem off for me as well. So our level is widely off at this point, but not to worry. You see me as that tightened up now. I'll show you how quick and simple and how much control we have in terms of getting this level to the exact degree also. So I level this plane first, it needs to come way in here. Now we we'll, we'll do the majority of our leveling with the with the slot here. We slide our actually pulling something so I just need to release that tiny bit. Okay. Right up to there. Yeah. So don't worry, as I say, folks, if it's not level to the absolute precision, we get our we get it level to the nth degree using the the telescopic adjustment here on the stand. Right? So we leave that there now and we get this one 99% plumb. So same thing needs to pull right in as you can see there. That's more or less it. We lock that up and we give it the final checked in. Now these levels folks I'm using, you can see they're recent addition to our profiles. Again, they slot into the groove here on the profile. Now you can see that showing more or less exact accuracy there. This one needs to pull a bit all right, so it still needs to go in the muddle a little bit. So we open and close mark on our adjustment here. So in this case what I'm doing is I'm closing in the stay arm in order to pull in the profile. And perfectly level if you're on that here, Hannes. Yeah. Okay. Lock that up. Right, we'll just give that a we do recommend to give these a final check with a standard builder level just to ensure absolute the thing. Just to double check it's absolutely perfect, okay? Which it is in this case. And we're spot on there as well. Okay. That's a demonstration folks of just how quick, simple and accurate it is to set up our profiles. And when you now put the string in for each course of your wall, you know you're building with millimeter precision. Just bring the line, as we're building block work here, I think every third course, and we use our new plastic line ties blocking the line. Again, ultimate efficiency here. Okay, just put locked in there, bring it around, and we bring it in the correct notch which is the third one up here like so okay set that into the notch and we lay on a perfect straight course of blocks and we're set up to transfer that precision through to the top of our wall marshallprofiles.com